My lightning talk is about game theory, but if you've seen me talk before, it's not about the Axelrod library. <laughs> um, for those of you who, who know game theory, um, you, can, you can switch off for a couple of seconds. If you don't, game theory is the study of strategic interactions between uh, seemingly rational agents. Okay, So this is a very uh, famous game. It's called Matching Pennies, and the game is simple. You play against someone, you decide who's player one, who's player two, and uh, you each have a coin, and you decide to show heads or tails, and then, you sh and then simultaneously you show your coin, right? So like rock, paper, scissors, you simultaneously show your coin. If you're both showing the same face, so both showing heads or both showing tails, then player one wins. If, however, you're showing different faces, then player two wins, right? And so that's represented here, so it kind of says here, if. If we're both showing the same thing, so player one has chosen the first row and the column player, player two has chosen the first column, then player one gets one and player two gets minus one. If they've both chosen tails, um, same thing. And then if we're in the anti-diagonal, we get the opposite thing. Very simple game. How do you play that optimally, right? You can solve a little linear equation to figure out that the, the optimal way to play this game is to play completely randomly, to flip your coin and, and be randomly, because then if you're playing randomly, your opponent can't take advantage of what you do, basically, is, is the idea, OK? Um, so there is some software for doing that calculation, some software for studying uh, game theory. It's called Gambit. It's, it's been around for a long, long time. It's written in C. It has algorithms for all types of games, lots of players. It's extremely well written. And it's got a Python binding, right? So at, at this point, you go, oh, that's that's fantastic. So I'll just go pip install gambit. Oh, brilliant. So this pip, this, this gambit package that allowed me to do my computation of equilibria is, is there. And then you go to PyPy and you find out that gambit on PyPy is a micro library for performing multiple queries in Elasticsearch. So that's great, but um, doesn't tell me how to play matching pennies. Uh, the main developer of Gambit, uh, Ted Tarosi, is a, is a really fantastic guy. But because of how Gambit's written and because it has all this really efficient C bindings, um, it's difficult to make pip installable. So if you're used to doing that um, and you could open a PR on Gambit to make it pip installable, he and most game theorists would be extremely appreciative of it. Now um, it's a packaging issue, mainly related to Windows, but anyway. Um, However, you can solve a lot of very simple two by two player games just by simple using simple linear algebra, which might not be the most efficient way. And because you can do simple linear algebra, you can do it using NumPy, um, which is a re leads to a library that I put up on GitHub the other day. It's as I say down here. This is a library with simple dependencies. It only requires NumPy. If you want to do sophisticated equilibrium, you should use Gambit. So this is not something that you should use if you want to do uh, hardcore game theory. But if you just want something that's pip installable, then you can. So pip install NashPy. That comes down along as with NumPy. And then in a notebook, we can import Nash. And now we can create our game. So we create one matrix for the first player. It's a zero-sum game, so I actually only need one of those, which is just showing, again, the same stuff we had. And then what's nice is that this is a generator, so we can get the equilibria, which is the first player plays a half a half, and the second player plays a half a half. So that's the purpose of this lightning talk. I don't think I had another thing. Nope. Um, to just mention a little Python library that if any of my third year students are here, you can use um, next term. And that's it. Thank you very much.